Okay, guys, I'm literally 20 minutes into the process. Each of these spreadsheets has 30,000 keywords, beautifully organized with links to the various website, Etsy, Redbubble, whatever. And the beautiful thing is there's no limit. You can literally download as much of these as you want it's really simple you can put whatever filters you want onto it this keyword method is unbeatable this is responsible for 70 percent of my sales and all of this is permanent so i've got 200,000 permanent keywords that i can use in my own time no sam rush no seo tool after just get the free trial and bang Hey guys, what is going on? Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. And I've talked about SEMrush in a previous video, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get hundreds of thousands of keywords permanently for free using SEMrush's free trial. It's gonna be about a 10 minute video and it's insane, honestly. It's, I've just, I've got these keywords permanently on an Excel document split into different categories that I can use basically forever. So as you can see, the prices are on the screen, but you can try it for free. Just make sure you cancel it because if you don't cancel it, you're going to be paying a lot of money. I immediately contact SEMrush, which I will show you in a second, to immediately email them and cancel my subscription. So what I suggest you do is you click on the little thing on the top right and you press subscription info and then you immediately just want to click where it says the active button and you want to press contact. So the problem with this process is that you have to contact them and they have to contact you to cancel the trial. But I'm doing this literally minutes after and that means that there's a very high chance that they'll contact me in a few hours and it will be cancelled already. Okay, So I'm not particularly worried about having to pay a huge amount of money and they've also got a 30 day uh, guarantee so even if they even if you were accidentally charged you could probably get it back eventually so it's pretty low risk guys I, I would say be careful because obviously they make their money somehow and this is probably one of the ways that they make their money people forgetting so I really recommend you just immediately cancel the subscription but once that is done guys we have got at our fingertips one of the most powerful SEO tools in the world and all you do is you go on domain research, type in Etsy.com, and I'm going to show you some tricks to download 30,000 keywords at a time. Okay, I'm going to give you three examples of spreadsheets. So the first one would be new organic positions. This is things that, they, that the website that you've chosen has just started ranking for in the last month or whatever you set it to. And then you literally just press export and then leave it on the top option and then press CSV it will download it immediately and then you can just very very easily put it into a brand new spreadsheet I recommend that you give a name to each CSV so that you can tell them apart and then you just download as many as you can think of basically once this is uploaded and it's imported there's the first spreadsheet which is new organic positions the second one I want to talk about is keyword gap so you want to put your the, the website that you want information on. Um, I'm going to use Etsy. I, I put Redbubble one, but I, I change it in a second. And then you want to put as many websites that it, it will give you um, suggestions or you can think of your own. And then I'm going to put Etsy first and Redbubble second. The one that you put first is the one that you want keywords for. And the other ones after that are the ones that you are comparing it to. And what are we going to use this for? We're going to use this to find gaps. So things that Redbubble is ranking for and things that Etsy isn't ranking for. So the same keywords. So just press on missing and then again, just export it. If you can see, it just says missing there. It's only 1,300 keywords, but I think this is a really good method because if you're doing print on demand on Etsy, a lot of products will just, you can take them from Redbubble and put them on a print on demand product. So once you've done this, you've got a really, really good list of keywords that Etsy isn't ranking for, but Redbubble is. And that's a really, really strong thing. Very, very strong. Okay, so the final type of spreadsheet I want to talk about is a filtered spreadsheet. So just go back to a normal, as you can see, it's on positions on Etsy.com. And it, this is just every single keyword that Etsy ranks for. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim away some things so that there are less keywords and more varied keywords basically the idea is if we put a filter here 
like this by clicking, if you see there are filters at the top just here, I click on position and I put, you can choose between top 20, top 10 or top 3, which means it will only show keywords that Etsy is ranking for in those specific positions. And the idea behind this is that if you get top 3 in the US, it will be different from top 3 in the UK. If you get top 10 in the US, it will be different from top 3 in the US also but also it'll be different from top three in the UK and top 10 in the UK. So as you can see, we can very, very quickly start to build up a huge, huge resource of keywords, which is exactly what I'm doing in these clips. I'm just mixing it up between top three positions, top 10 positions, top 20 positions, US, UK, Canada, Spain, France, Italy, etc., etc. By the time you finish with this process, you will have 600,000 keywords, if my calculations are correct, if not even more. And you could even add top 50. And if you go back to the methods, the other two types of spreadsheets that I was talking about before, then you can do the same thing for those ones. You can add filters. Um, just a quick side note, I recommend that you filter out the word Etsy because there are a lot of searches that are just like t-shirt Etsy, which you're not really going to be using so you may as well filter it out so that you can get more useful keywords because the limit is 30,000 during the trial of SEMrush. So yeah guys honestly like 600,000 keywords permanently downloaded to your desktop for free and three different types of spreadsheet so you have newly ranking things or things that Etsy has just moved up on. We have the keyword gap type of spreadsheet and finally, we have filtered spreadsheets, which allows us to create a huge resource of keywords incredibly simply. In the last few minutes, while I've been describing this, I've shown you in the background exactly how I'm doing this. I'm naming every single CSV that I download, something like Italian keywords top three or um, Italian newly ranking keywords top 10 or whatever it might be. And then later, as you can see from the beginning of the video, I'm going to put them into, a, into different spreadsheets, give each spreadsheet that title, and then this is, going to, this is going to be the core fundamental base for my Etsy keyword research from now on. I'm still going to be using search operators mainly for tags. I think search operators are fantastic for tags. And once I've cleaned through all of these keywords and done everything I can with them, I'll go back to search operators, of course. Thanks, guys. I hope this helps you out. I feel like this is going to help a lot of people out. If it's helped you out, please just give me a like. It helps me out with the algorithm, as you know. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.